everybody, Dr. G here. It's time to operate. Today we're going to dissect All Right Now by Free. There are two guitar parts playing simultaneously during the verses on the studio recording. But I'm going to start by covering what he plays live. As with other songs that I dissect, there are secrets to how to play it correctly. The first secret in this song is that Paul Kossoff has his pinky on the fifth fret of the low E string. I will compare what I'm showing you to live video in a second. But first, this is what the riff is like played slowly. Okay, let's look at the fingering. Pinky, fifth fret, low E. Next to that is the open A string, and the index finger is covering the second fret of the D and G strings. Do not play the second fret of the B string. Give you the first chord like this. He then keeps that there and adds the middle finger to the third fret B string, ring finger to the fourth fret D string to give you this. Back to the A, lifting those fingers up. Next, the secret chord, ring finger is on the fourth fret D string. The G string is open, the index finger is not covering anything and the middle finger is on the third fret B string to give you this. He then adds the index finger to cover the second fret on the G string to give you this. Then goes back to the first chord with the middle finger and ring finger doing nothing. Let's take a look at the strumming. The first time through, he lets two of the chords ring like this. The second time around, he puts in an accented rhythm on two of the chords, and he plays it hard. That's one thing about Paul Kossoff. He gave it everything he has, and that's what you have to do. Okay, let's take a look at some live video footage of Free from 1970, and notice where Paul Kossoff has his pinky and the fact that he keeps it there throughout the chord changes. Let's look at the second guitar part for a second. You can hear a high A note, and what he's doing is adding this onto the live chords that you saw. His pinky is covering the 5th fret high E and the 5th fret B string. Index is covering 2nd fret D string, 2nd fret G string to give you this. Let's look at the chords. Index finger on the 12th fret A string. I put my pinky on the 14th fret D string to give you the first chord. Then he brings in the ring finger, 14th fret low E, to index 12th fret low E to play these notes. He then slides his hand down two frets. You end up with the index finger on the 10th fret of the A string and the pinky on the 12th fret of the D string, give you the second chord. Then slide the index finger down one more fret to give the third chord. And back up to the top. Okay, let's say a little bit about the bass part. There is no bass playing during the verses. Comes in on the chorus. The choruses are slightly different in what he plays. I'm going to play along with the second chorus, slowed down in the background. He had seven A's before he changes to other notes in the riff, in the first half of it, and then he hits five A's before he goes up the neck. You'll see what I mean. Okay, let's take a look.
a look at that fabulous bass part during the solo. It starts off with A octaves. I play the high A on the second fret of the G string and then go to the low open A. Then he plays A, F sharp, and E down and up to follow that like this. And while that E is ringing, he goes high up the neck on the D and G strings. On the D string, he's on the 17th fret. And on the G string, he's on the 19th fret. And he alternates those notes with the open A. So he goes. And he drops his index finger one and does the same thing. Let's look at that whole riff slowly. Okay, now at approximately the speed of the record. Well, I hope you enjoyed the dissection of All Right Now by Free. I will soon be publishing my dissection of the guitar solo from this song. Stay tuned to Guitar Riffs Play It Right for the dissection of other famous songs.